What's up with Morlock? Is he really a great wizard? With his experience, he's well over level 80. We're a unique little bunch with a pretty huge level gap. Uh. The old man's retired once already. He's high level, but his memory's shot. He forgets his incantations all the time. Once, he forgot where to meet for a dungeon run. Oh, yeah, that was horrible. We waited as long as we could, but he never showed up. So we went into the dungeon without him. And apparently, the geezer attempted to teleport to us. What? It seems I made a grave miscalculation. Instead, he fused with a golem. How did he separate himself? Disappeared. Was it here? I forget my incantations a lot, so my party abandoned me. May I join yours? Wait, did he forget about us too? Whatever. Let's just pretend he never existed. So is that a yes, or... seem to be lumped together at home improvement centers. What's a home improvement center? If I made it the same way I would for a human, there'd be no place for her wings. How about this? Go ahead, try it on. <laughs> I love it! How much? Oh, there's no need for that. No! You have to make sure you get compensated for your labor! Okay. Since Morlock's always willing to use his magic power to help me out, think you can keep his back healed up? Really? Are you sure? Mm, trading favors, huh? I don't like that. Go ahead. Relieve pain and improve circulation. Oh! It's working even better this time. And ever since, she devotes a lot more time to soothing his back. about 15 centimeters long and right at five millimeters wide so centimeters and millimeters they're units of measurement in the world i'm from what is it you use in this world again madaraka lafon pond here is about one madaraka in length one madaraka is about 30 centimeters then i wonder what it's based on uh... wonder no more boy you're huh? here too long long ago and even longer before that Madaraka the first, founder of these vast lands we call home, was a proud king with an even vaster vessel. He put that 
monumental member to use, gracing the kingdom with 300 children. The scholars of his day were astonished by his impressive reach. Based on that exact length, they created the Mataraka unit of measurement. Awful, isn't it? Hmm. That's pretty long. <laughs> Magician. It's an uncommon class in my family, but my magical aptitude was high, so I leaned in. Scorching cries. My magical approach is simple. Alone, I absorb the enemy's attacks. I endure. And as I endure, I focus. And when it's time... I release a shockwave of destruction from my core. I don't care about anyone. And frankly... No one cares about me. For the lonesome path I walk is a proud one. I'll admit, even with my bride, sometimes these long nights get a little lonely. down a lot further than the last time, huh? Thirteen floors down. <laughs> Practically the demon realm. From this point on, our attack magic will be far less effective. We need to imbue our weapons with strength magic and prepare for a brawl. Yeah, I know. Well, you ready? <laughs> Stand back, it's dangerous. <laughs> Maybe we should call it quits. Not a chance. as a kid. And your world uses a base 10 system too. Can you guess why? Because we have 10 fingers. Welcome, please come in. Is there anything I can help you find? Medicinal herbs. Ah, uh, yes, right over there. I didn't know you had armor like that, Ryleza. <laughs> Mr. Saito, you must think I'm someone else. You just called me Mr. Saito. Oh, pardon me. Is only defensive after all. I know more than Casper. 
spells, you old jerk. That's true. You have the very important... Why am I here? I'm just a burden to the party. Believe me, I know. I may have come from a more advanced civilization, but opening locks and making repairs is about all I can offer. Is that valuable enough to ask for their protection? I told you. Wait. Close the door. Hey, Morlock! Please, teach me how to use magic like you! been here for a while now. No one can use magic down here, so Morlock's incantations are useless. Lava uses magic to fly, so I can't expect much from her. And we don't have a rope long enough to reach me. All I am to them is a handyman who can pick their locks and fix their bags. In the end, this world's just like my old one. If you don't like it, then quit. There's a million people to take your place. Oh, hey there. Thanks for calling. How can I help you? It can be the same, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't believe it. He's over here! We found you! You came? We followed. 
followed the waterway. Since we can't use magic, the only thing Lotha and the old man could do was slow me down. That's just rude. This shining tube Saito gave me proved to be very useful. That was a long fall. Are you okay? Yeah, other than a few broken bones. I'm being honest. I didn't think you'd come. Tell me. You know we'd never abandon you, right? As far as I'm concerned, there's no one who could take your place. Thanks a lot. Let's go. Hey, Grandpa, she said it's time to go now. my boy now to start a restaurant racked with guilt over the thought of causing a mass hydra extinction i decided not to there's no shortage of traps and treasure chests poison needles poison smoke even bombs <sighs> let's skip this one so we wasted our time it's just not worth the risk I learned my lesson when I fell down that hole. Fine with me. Let's move out. Yep, totally wasted. I don't mind either way. You can tell a lot about someone by the way they trap a treasure chest. With sloppy trap jobs like this, I assume whoever said it is dumb. Finally, I get to make use of one of the other tools I dragged into this world. Wire cutters. Oh, he sliced through that dwarf and iron like butter! Amazing as always. Saito! Saito! Keep it down, you guys! Much faster. 
actually lived on the moon, but their arrogance and vanity angered the moon goddess, until she finally unleashed her wrath. Thus, they were cursed and cast down onto the land below. That sucks, but Luffa had nothing to do with all that. The fact remains that she was born into a cursed race. 
Listen, I know my skills are limited, so give my cut to her, okay? Sorry, she won't accept your charity. It's a huge blow to her sense of pride. Well, I guess I'll add that to the list of all the things a handyman can't fix. But still... Hey, Lafa! Uh, would you mind blessing me? Oh, hi! I thought this kind of stuff was your specialty. It'll cost ya! I know, but it'll really put my mind at ease. Oh. Works for me! <sighs> now you'll be okay! Thanks. should still be where we were. You think so? They both have a rather strong resistance to magic. So I doubt they were teleported anywhere. Although this is an unfortunate turn of events. If either one of them were here with us, we could have determined our location using magic. I mean, being alone with you is perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah, trust me, I know what you're saying. I'll try not to slow you down. Not really my point, but still. Just, whatever happens, do not get ahead of me, you hear? You got it. Ryle says the only actual warrior in our little party, so she always has to play human shield. All I can really do is jog Morlock's memory on his spells. This is an entirely different situation we're in. Just like me. 
Though, in this world, it seemed like people really needed me. That made me so happy. Saito, don't close your eyes! Just stay awake, we can't lose you! This is bad. Even a revival magic may not work if he's been dead for too long. I have to do something now. Maybe a spell to preserve his body? No, I can't pull that off. And Morlock and Lofa aren't here. <laughs> You call this drops of life? Healing that scar of yours will prove to be a difficult task. But those drops of life and angel wing scales will do wonders when they're used together. Thank you. I'll look for scales. Be sure to guard that precious fire with your life until then. Saito. Right the spell! Yeah. <laughs> 
Naito, what are you... Yes, Ryoza. It's the charm magic. Hey, don't come any closer! Wait, wait, hang on! Ryoza. No, 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 no! Saito! Not here, not like this! I've already dispelled the charm effect. Maybe I should have waited a few seconds. Shut your mouth. Oh no, she charmed Morlock too? Don't leave, we have to save him. He's fine. The geezer's magic resistance is bizarrely high, so charm spells have no effect on him. Okay, then what's he doing? Flirting. I found you. A single flower blooming in this utter darkness. He'll get rejected and come back. Just leave him. My dear, come suck from my well of endless magic. Endless as in? Like a geyser, it goes and goes. A trap where you get hit with lightning if you're wearing metal armor? On the nose. And it looks like we can't move past it. I mean, only one of us is really in danger here. Ryoza, take off your armor. I'll use my magic to levitate it over the trap. I don't know. Ooh, Riles has never been this shy. No one asked you. Rylza, you can wear these. I'll look away, okay? Uh, all right. Looking good! Don't make fun of me! Great. Now we can march onward. <laughs> Magic Warrior Kynes, our third hero candidate. Quite handsome, I'd say. He can use magic, which is a plus. Why not go with him? With no Tima King to worry about, frankly, we could choose anyone. Good. Once Kynes is on the platform, release the lock.
delicacy is known as the cocky man root mushroom. I keep it hidden away so nobody gets any funny ideas. It's a mushroom? That's right. You simply suck on it like this. Oh, oh, oh I can't stop. Oh. Huh? You started without me? No fair, where's mine? What? You too, Ryleson? Craftsman has a quick way to fix it. Man, he's super bummed. It's not like him. I suppose there's one person we could enlist, though he's a bit eccentric for my taste. He is Don Bane, known as the man who hears the voice of steel, the master of molten metal, a dwarf who forges armor for the small folk and shields for the giants alike. He wastes no time, and when his customers declared, Nay, you finish too fast to justify these prices, he lost faith in the goodwill of others and retired. Now, he hides away deep within a cave, locked behind a door that shall not open without Don Bane's 108 keys. And picking all those locks is near impossible. Doing so is more difficult than sneaking into the king's chambers. Excuse us, Mr. Don Bane? Hmm? I've picked a lot of tough locks, but never 108 at once. You what? Amazing! They're as good as new! That'll cost you one dragon scale. Of course. Here you go. The sharp edges were enhanced with mithril silver. His craftsmanship is perfect. Hang on. If he's this talented with a forge... Uh, sir? There's something else I'd like you to make for me. Uh, what is it? Oh, right. Well, I was hoping that you'd cook some food for us. <laughs> You're hungry, are you? All right. Let me see what I can do. Wow, it looks delicious! Just wonderful! <laughs> <laughs> One more round! <laughs> Ryleza, hypothetically, let's say, women, children, and even people who weren't very qualified had easy access to deadly weapons. How would you feel about that? With that many new adventurers, it would affect our bottom line. And you are aware you're talking to a woman, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> If I had a gun, 
I might be more useful in battle. Still, I don't think it's a good idea to introduce things like that to this world. Ryalza, would you please teach me how to fight with a sword? Oh, come on, she's asleep? that can cure a cold. Neither do I. Doesn't matter which world you go to, no one's found a cure for the common cold. We'll focus on jobs with monsters instead of treasure. You just get some rest. <laughs> Somebody's worried, huh? Sorry, guys. It's probably better I'm laid up, since all I do is slow you down anyway. Flash of genius! Flash of... <laughs> Here, use this instead! <laughs> construction company. It was a small, local, privately owned business. Not unlike your shop, actually. It was a lot of hard work, and they didn't pay very well. When I tried to bring it up with my boss, he fired me like it was nothing. You know, there was a small part of me that assumed he would try to stop me. When he didn't, deep down, an even smaller part didn't care if I died that day. Oh! Saturn, disappearing the way I did, or the feeling that no one needed me.
sneaky devil. It's a magical camouflage. Hard to spot with magical perception alone. Ah! Foul magic be gone! Oh, uh, well... It's return to where you belong. Yes, return to where you belong!
So, how are you feeling after today? In this feeble body, I can't even use half my original power. And I imagine this must be difficult on you as well, Minister, since you've retired. Of course, but it's a request from the king himself. And I've learned that somewhere inside the Great Labyrinth, the legacy of a skilled magician who's able to control time lies dormant. The king has asked us to retrieve it before it falls into evil hands. Evil hands? Could it be you've forgotten who you're sitting next to right now? You're an exception as a trusted friend of his majesty. Also, you're my instructor in the ways of magic. Minister! Who did that? How? My attack detection didn't work! Ninja bastards! I'm going to enjoy tearing your corpse limb from limb!
admit it. You've got a thing for dark eyes and angular faces, don't you? Be quiet. You're embarrassing me. Uh, hmm? There we go. <laughs> wow, jackpot! I figure this belongs to you for defeating that monster. This belongs to you. This belongs to you. This belongs to you. Treasure oh, fun. Right. They're fighting. Each one is claiming the treasure really chest out, belongs right? to her. 
and neither looks likely to give way. You want to settle this with blades? I'd like nothing more. It's forbidden for adventurers to fight each other in the Great Labyrinth. You're risking a fine. Not to mention we denied entry here in the future. I'm well aware, but I believe that dueling should be permitted as long as there's mutual consent. This is reckless! The spell seal of confirmation. Send your seconds. Go, Nina. That's you. Though either of them die, no grudge shall remain. This I promise. This I promise. Thus the magic covenant is sealed. I'm Forest Elf, Flanril, Ril, Arlil. And I'm Ryleza. Ryleza... Morlock. <sighs> Why'd you say the last part so quietly? <laughs> I still don't understand the values warriors live by. Even so, all I can do now is watch. It'll be fine. Given Ryleza's heavy armor, she shouldn't suffer any fatal wounds. And begin! She's going for the armor's joints. Wow, you're slow. Miles' longsword isn't suited to fighting quick-skilled opponents. Who 
who's there? A dwarf? <laughs> Primas, what's going on? <laughs> Sorry, but these guys are pretty tough. Hurry and get over here, Grandpa! Hold out a little longer. I'm almost there. You're not getting another shot. <laughs> Scorching heat gather, cage ablaze filled with spirit and will. No prisoner of flames! Be free from your chains! We're pulling out! He can jump around like that after taking a tier 3 fiery heat blast. Must be the same ninja that's been launching all those sneak attacks lately. Thanks. You really saved us. The two of you make it through all right? We're fine. We have been toasted enough for him, though. Interesting place you found here. It's been so long. Hmm? Oh, hold on. Do you know him? Wait, could it be? Yes, it's Kibungo. And here you are, after 20 years of searching. Master! Oh. Oh, Who again? Interesting place you found here. It's been so long. Hmm? Oh, hold on. Do you know him? Wait, could it be? Yes, it's Kibungo. And here you are, after 20 years of searching. Master! Who? Who again? Master? Why do you call you that? I don't take male apprentices. Your guess is as good as mine. Seems your memory's still gone. It has been a while. Long ago, in a land far to the east, you were once a renowned magician. But then, 20 years ago, you set off. Said you were in search of a forbidden magic of sorts, and that was the last time I laid eyes on you. 20, huh? You think he was looking for Morlock all those years? I caught sight of you entering the Great Labyrinth. I've been fresh on your heels, waiting for my chance to speak to you. It's been quite a while. Before he met me, even. Hey, Geezer, you told me you couldn't remember your past, correct? Mm. Oh, yes, I have no reason to lie to you. Other than the name Morlock and certain parts of my incantations, I hardly remember anything these days. You don't even remember those half the time, which has made you pretty useless lately. Now, wait a minute. Oh. He's a great magician. Don't you think you're being a bit too harsh? A great magician? This old jerk? Yes, it's true. If memory serves me better than it does you, isn't Morlock one of the names that you would use on your quest to court women? Courting women? Yes, of course. You are undeniably popular with the ladies. Beardy's getting kind of weirdy about all this. <clears throat> Listen to me. Master, you have a real name. <sighs> you are known as the Great Mage Bergheim. In full, it was Bergheim... <laughs> I'm on it! Lock on pawn! The dwarf! You're safe with me, Beardy! <sighs> Is that the ninja from earlier? Maybe for a minute, but with Saito helping the old man remember his souls, we have the stronger team. We can win! <laughs> somewhere nearby. Let's split up and look around. Anyone else afraid we might startle her or something?
where you stuck, young man. It can't be. Look away! Uh. Ravella will leave us soon. She'll succumb to old age. What happened to her? She was fine when I met her. A long time ago, Ravella was possessed by a demon who cast a powerful spell on her to prevent aging. The demon was killed by another magician, which freed her from its control. The anti-aging spell remained intact. Her age, it was a blessing, but with that spell came a tragic curse. <laughs> if she falls in love, the spell is broken, and all of her frozen time catches up with her in an instant. In love? The spell broke because she fell for you. And now her time is unraveling before our very eyes. She's dying because of me. Are you crying? You kill people all the time. I'm shocked. You really love her, huh? Since you're being honest, I'll tell you a secret. We might have a chance. There's only one way we can save her. In the Great Labyrinth, there is said to be someone who can help. A mage who controls time. Shadow binding. Magic light. This is the work of that moonlight fairy. Please be careful. If he steps on your shadow, you can't move. I'm well aware. Now that I feel the dwarf magician, his survival is up to him. Go, oh, master! I'll keep blocking his attacks. Should buy you some time to use your incantations. That's you, Morlock. Let us begin with fiery heat blast. These little blockers can take a beating. Are they enchanted with protection magic? Blow. We hail from the house of the Demon King, and we've no need to chant our spells. <laughs> Master! A fiery heat blast will have little effect on these demons! Well, you could have said so sooner. <laughs> this is all my fault. I'm the one who chose to barge in here without a second thought. Listen to me! You're gonna have to use a higher tier magic than this! All right then, if, uh, if that's the case, we can maybe... Well, we could try... Oh, the Seven Thunder Gods! You know that one? Yes, I memorized it! Very good. Seven in formation. Six blasts, five are swords, four are spears, three... Three are... It's three are my fangs! Yes, that's it! Three are my fangs! Two are my arms. These words flow forth from my mind and become blades of lightning! Thunder gods, may you explode! Whoa, nice! Cool boy, we're not done. This is child's play. You're an eyesore! Substitution magic. Down there! Keep your guard up! <laughs> While I'm trained in the masteries of a thief, I can also cast the spells of a conjurer. Good enough to trick demons, too. Thank you, Gibra! And Beast Hunter Laliza, too. Caught wind you might be exploring the new area. We couldn't let you come down here and take all the new treasure for yourselves. What my bearded friend failed to mention is that he's stalking you, Saito. <laughs> and he's been using his magic to track you. It was them? <laughs> Don't underestimate us! Here he comes! <laughs> Looks like you're in a bit of a bind. Need me to jump in and help out? Lonril Arlo. Would it matter if I said no? 
You wanna die too? What? Barrier? Master Saito! I've come to rescue you! Yeah! And the hero kinds! And right here too! Monpui! You brought the whole team! And when you guys discovered the hidden passage, the word got out pretty fast. Now everyone thinks there might be treasure here. Get ready, you might have some uninvited guests. She's right. Who are they? There's too many. Telephone! Oblet! We're pulling out! Are you sure? Miss Lachlan Pun! We shouldn't let them escape. What? Why not? They've been ambushing high-level adventurers. They're a real danger to society. We should combine our magic and attack. It's the only way. You got it! Ding! Kramas! <laughs> Drive out darkness with light. End the gloom and make it bright. I won't let you! <laughs> what was that? Ah, that hurts, doesn't it? You've been struck by magician Raichi's magic arrow. I'll save you! You idiot! Approach them with caution! They're casting a demon banishment! That's powerful against us! <laughs> White door opens, shining bright. Bless us with heaven's army's might. Divine spirits, light shot. I'm an assassin. I've killed so many people for money. <laughs> and in this world of darkness, I, a tool for those willing to pay, have bonded with demons, my friends. I'll be a laughing stock, dying to protect demons. My only friends. Release the fairy. Huh? Who asked you? Mind your business, lady. Hey, 
She's a witch! Oh no! This is bad! <laughs> you can't do that! I caught her myself! What gives you the right to stop? Thanks, Miss Witch. You're quite welcome, little one. That was the fateful day I met Ravella. It was meant to be. We became friends right away. I think we bonded so fast because we were both outcasts. Huh? This is so yummy! I've never eaten something so delicious before! They're baked scones, a specialty of mine. We talked about all kinds of stuff. <gasps> Isn't it lonely out here? You're so far away, living all alone like an exile. I suppose I am. But I've grown used to it. I've lived 400 years after all. Wait, did you say 400 years? That's a long time for a human. I'm only this old because of a curse. If I were to ever fall in love, the curse would break, and I would die. <sighs> <sighs> Don't worry. I've lived long enough that love is but a distant memory. At least, that's what she told me. I felt comforted, and we moved on. Yesterday, someone gave me a kiss. <gasps> it's all right. I've made it this long without falling in love. One of my elf friends told me something a long time ago. What was it? That no matter how old a woman gets, she can still fall in love. <laughs> what are you doing, huh? If you don't tear off my wings, how am I gonna be able to summon the dark spirit? <laughs> She's summoning a dark spirit? Not on my watch. We have to stop her now. Right. Boss! Little fairy! We're prepared for the worst and you can't stop us! Please, at least let us buy you some time! Hurry up! Just tear him off! What are you waiting for? Do it! Get the new game! Quit stalling and rip him off! Release my magic energy! It has to be done! Why won't you listen? You're a coward! You hear me? You're a cowardly ninja! We're done here! Thanks for the assist. I can't 
Fetch the materials. I must head back. Our baby girl's suffering from fevers almost every night. Couldn't you try researching from home? I need you here in case there's a turn for the worse. We've got nothing to worry about. The medical clinic and the temple have assured me this bout will pass. Yeah, but. I'm on the verge of being recognized as one of the greats. If I don't rise to the occasion now, then all my contributions over the years will have been for naught. Uh... Once I get my recognition, we'll be able to afford a better house. 
it'll be a proud moment for the whole family. Please don't go. She's been waiting all day, waiting to have her father by her side. I'll come home as soon as I can tomorrow, I promise. Our dreams have finally come true. I've been officially recognized by the most preeminent magicians in the land. I'm finally one of the greats. Hmm? Our sweet baby. Her fever got worse, higher than it's ever been before. I tried to rush it at the clinic, but nobody was there in the middle of the night. Hmm? By the morning, she was gone. <gasps> There has to be something. What about the temple or revival magic? I'm sure we have some gold around here. No, I gathered everything, but this was it. Oh. It's barely enough to buy bread tomorrow. We certainly can't afford temple services. It's because I spent our savings at the research lab, isn't it? I don't care about the money. If you'd been home, you might have been able to save her. Oh, girl, she wouldn't let go. Not until her last breath. You never wore it for her. Not once. Even after she lost consciousness, her little fist squeezed and tight. Save my own daughter. There's nothing great about me. Mm! Ah! Ah! In regards to magic manipulation of time and space, Northern Kingdom, Great Labyrinth, deep underground lies a magic capable of manipulating time. I presume that this is the Great Labyrinth? Yes. Are you from a foreign land? It would be ill-advised to explore the Labyrinth alone. I'm fine. Thunder gods, may you explode! 
Good. chance to fight someone like you at the end. Wait, wait, please. I'm leaving this vapid world for another. To honor your brave fight, I shall grant a small part of your request. Then you'll turn it back? You don't really need to turn back time, do you, old man? Not if you forget. <clears throat> you want that weight lifted from your shoulders. If you couldn't remember she existed, things would be easy. From here on, you will live a life most unfamiliar. And luckily, you'll forget the sins of your past. <laughs> Outer 
reaches to here. From here to the outer reaches. Now break the circle of reason. Strike with the eternal sword which pierces the light. A blink is an eternity. An eternity is but a moment. A uh, blink is an eternity. An eternity is but a moment. What's this? Uh, let's see. I feel like there's something I'm supposed to do. so I guess not. I'm lost here. Saito, do you know what's going on? Can you hear me? Hey, Saito! Oh. 
attack the eyes with magic. Now I remember you were helping me. Keep going. You've got this. You used that magic pen from your world, so on the off chance I forgot what to do next, I... Oh, I can't believe it! I am so unimaginably lucky! Saito! Lopopon! Ryansa! Despite the fact that I'm such an old fool, my would-be children are a cut above. And those who would dare to threaten my son and daughters face my wrath! Heart, earth, water, fire, and wind! Void rank, first class, tier 10! Sorcery, in the name of Bergheim Krom, come to me now! This secret heart raises magical power to its very limit! I'll smite my enemy! Scorching heat, gather now! Cage ablaze, fill yourself with spirit and will! Fiery Heat Blast is a standard spell for mid-level mages. As tier 3 magic, it's not high level. However, with that secret heart boost, my magical power will surpass the seven thunder gods. I'm very familiar with the Fiery Heat Blast, so I know it'll work. Prisoner of Flames, I release your... The memories of my foes? I'll tell you a secret. We might have a chance. There's only one way we can save her. In the Great Labyrinth, there is said to be someone who can help. A mage who controls time. They're doing this for love and loyalty? As a way of atonement? If I bring down the evil spirit like this, there's no way to save the ninja and his allies. But still, I must... I can do that part. Ralza, do you think you can pick up Grandpa's hand? No, mine's not urgent. I mean the wee one's wings. The magic inside of them was used to summon that ghastly thing. So the wings themselves weren't used as a catalyst. They should be somewhere there on the ground. Are you sure? The whole reason that they summoned it was to kill us, though, so I don't understand why we'd help them out. Just as I was preparing to release my magic, I caught a glimpse of their memories. After that, I couldn't bring myself to kill them. I used half my power to attack, dealing a less than lethal amount of magic, while activating magic cancellation at the same time. Seems it worked out perfectly. But your hand... Well, I directed half the magic to flow backwards, so a good deal of that fiery heat blast came my way and blew it clean off. Yes, sir. <laughs> How can you be so stupid? Oh, hey, that hurts. A little foster family bonding. Aww. Media, my darling, your joining magic requires that you use your own bodily fluids as a catalyst, correct? Uh, yes. You don't mind helping an old man out, do you? <laughs> with some help from Mr. Montpoy and a great deal of my own magic, I can reattach it without any kind of catalyst. Try and hold it gently, you slobbering simpleton. Don't you worry. Hey, look! 
found her wings, Lafa. Had a boy, Zaitel! I can always count on you! I can give her magical support. I appreciate your help, Givra. Well, anytime you need me. Now, here we go. Please don't. Uh, I won't accept charity. Not from someone who gets along so well with humans. I was sold off like some kind of interesting object. You've never had to go through that, have you? But the ninja's human. And you seem to get along with him just fine. Please allow those demons to return to their realm. <laughs> they were never summoned from there in the first place. They were just always around my stronghold. It's likely they wouldn't go back if I asked them to. I see. All this time they've been following you of their own free will? Yes. And at this point, we have attacked a number of parties together. In the case of the Holy Knight and Magician, they seemed fairly strong, so we decided to ambush them and slice them off to make revival impossible. I'll be hanged for that, but please, let my friends in the Black Fairy go. Tell me, are you looking for the mage who controls the flow of time? Yes, it's said that their name is Krom. Well, if you're looking for Krom, that's your man there. <laughs> I'll be. It's as good as new. But I need to make sure the feeling's still intact. Squeezing those sweet, fleshy orbs should do the trick. Please don't! You may press this humble priest's orb instead. Really? That's Krom, the mage who can control time? He's quite famous in the East. Krom, the Void Ring first class magician. The fact that he set out for this great labyrinth was big news at the time. Though I suppose that was over ten years ago. I think I'll need a second opinion, Nina. I certainly felt your hand. Try again. My master, it appeared that your memories had returned, but alas. So, he's the one? You're saying that he can save her? <laughs> <laughs> Magic swords? <laughs> we are the ones who will decide the fate of the assassin at his court. They're alive? I'd say we earned the right after what they did. You make a fool of us. And we shall return the favor tenfold. No, please! Is it okay? Should be fine. This is always weak. Look out! 
It's all water under the bridge. Now that we know their circumstances, I can sympathize with them. <laughs> Help me understand. Your witch is rapidly aging, and the only way to break the curse is to find a time mage in the Great Labyrinth. That's right. Old man, if you're Krom, I need your help. I'm sorry. There's no magic that can turn back small slivers of time. I can cast a spell which brings time itself to a brief halt, but you see... No, that's the end of it. Master, have your memories come crawling back to you? It can't be. If there was someone that could turn back time, I'm certain it would be him. Him who? He who ventured into the labyrinth to test magic which manipulates the very fabric of time and space itself. A mage more skilled and mysterious than I, whom I believe summoned many items here from other dimensions. What are we waiting for? Let's find the mystery mage! It won't work. <laughs> he grew weary of our world. I'm afraid he abandoned it for another. Well, that was impressive. I've already grown tired of this world. But I'm glad I had the chance to fight someone like you at the end. Wait, wait, please. I'm leaving this vapid world for another. There's no telling where the young man may have disappeared. Demon realm, spirit realm, or maybe yours. Why would he want to do that? Is it even possible? Oh, yes, but finding him would be impossible. <laughs> you know, there is a way to save your witch. <sighs> My uncle's partner. He may be able to help. Uh, is this true? Very likely. Judging by your energy, I can tell you're a powerful spellcaster, but are you suggesting you're capable of using rejuvenation magic? I am, but it's not me I'm referring to. Rather, my, uh, my friend, a magic knight. The old man must have a few tricks up his sleeves. How can we trust that your friend can do it? From what I've heard, only the gods can use rejuvenation magic. If your friend is willing to help us out, we might be able to save the witch! Boss, you hear that? He can help us! <sighs> Please... Although, there is a price to pay, and the cost is rather prohibitive. To save her, you must sacrifice the life of someone she's intimately connected to. <laughs> no! Don't do it! It's out of the question! There has to be another way, right? Leave us like this! We're too young to we'll die! figure it out together! Boss! I offer my life as tribute. You can't! I'll sacrifice myself instead! Primos, don't offer what you can't. We don't know if the life of a petite fairy is enough to satisfy the toll. But you can't! If I'm to be hanged anyway, I'd rather use what life I have left to save the woman I love. I know it's selfish, but please... Help me. You deserve to be torn limb from limb for the crimes you've committed. But you are a friend of my nephew, Telephone. Would you please offer them your aid? Uncle! We said no! I'm sorry, brothers. This is the only way. You know that. <laughs> We're a kingdom of laws. Criminals must be held accountable, is what I would prefer to say. But if everyone here agrees to turn a blind eye to his crimes, then we can do as we please. I think... If he's sacrificing himself to save another, then that should be a fitting atonement for the crimes he committed. This is a headache. Just do what you want. Rest assured that your secret is safe with us. It was all for love? Yeah, I get it. Well, I'm against it. As the kingdom's hero, I feel we... As his instructor, I'll show him how to walk the moral path, so don't you worry about us. And I really just don't care. I also oppose this. Without mutual consent, adventurers who assault others within the labyrinth must be reported. Nevertheless, I believe the minister here has a high-ranking connection, one with His Royal Highness King Madaraka himself. I feel we should trust his judgment. Seems the dwarf knows who you are. <laughs> I know he nearly killed me, but I think he should be able to choose his fate. The quandary which compels you was revealed to be in a vision. You should have a chance at redemption. It's okay. <laughs> he said with me. I support his decision. What about you? Uh, well, I... He was scared, desperately doing anything he could to save the one he loved. 
If looking the other way means he can make it happen, then I'd be happy to step aside. He opened a new window and speak the names of those who seek to return home. The young noble of the Furious Horns. Teleportation spells like this are quite difficult. But if you're able to recite the subject's names and lineage, it becomes much easier. And even if she doesn't have the energy, she can tap into the old man's support. I refuse to go back! Go, go, go! Have the demons returned from whence they came? Yes. The king's ready. I've contacted him to confirm that he can indeed help us break the curse. With a teleportation spell, I'll take you there now. We're off. Not yet. Something bothers me and I must know. You there, those clothes, where are they from? Uh, pardon me for saying so, but you are the weakest person in this room. And yet despite that, it was easy to see that you were the heart of your team. If you hadn't been here, we might have had a chance. Uh, are you a ninja from a foreign land? I, no, sir. Nothing of the sort. I'm a handyman. Huh? A handyman? <laughs> I see. We're off. You know, there is a way to save the witch. He was scared, desperately doing anything he could to save the one he loved. If looking the other way means he can make it happen, then I'd be happy to step aside. You were the heart of your team. If you hadn't been here, we might have had a chance. Are you a ninja from a foreign land? Nothing of the sort. I'm a handyman. Seems it's just us again. Yeah. Saito, did you ever find the mechanized object you were looking for? No, not yet, I'm afraid. Besides, it's not like that's the only reason I'm down here. Either way, this is still strange. Strange indeed. Must be the work of that mage. Opening pathways to other worlds can be dangerous. You never know what may fall through. Whoa! What's all this? <laughs> I've never seen this kind of treasure before. What's the big deal? Why are these guys looting down here? The new area is popular. Word spreads fast. Saito, wait! I'll look for stuff that might be useful. I can snag it before anyone else does. Right behind ya! Hey, wait for me! Master. Hmm? Your memories are coming back now, aren't they? Also known as the Blood Sword, 
is capable of absorbing the life force of my mortal enemies. You'll take my life with this, then? Yes, that's correct. And it will cost you your whole life to save this witch. But tell me, is it true? You've spent your whole life as a killer for hire? How can you deem your life worthy to offer as a sacrifice? I've assassinated countless people, most of whom I knew nothing about. It was my profession, and killing was the only life I knew. But I made friends along the way, and fell in love with her. Watch where you step, young man. It was that love, my kiss, that cursed her to grow old. That's when I realized it for the first time. All those people I killed before, they must have had friends too. Maybe even love, like mine. I know who I am and what I've done. I've lost my right to love. Numerous people paid the toll for you to understand this simple concept. Vile is an understatement. <sighs> then maybe my vile life can mean something. To save someone who deserves to live. You wish to save her for your own atonement. It's selfish, even for you. However, I am magnanimous, and I shall grant your wish. Please. The spirit returner glows with your essence. A little more should do the trick. But you can't use just any life for this spell. The magic requires a sacrifice from someone known to the afflicted. To make this work, I'll acquire half of your life essence and half from your fairy friend. Primos's wings? I shall continue slashing you limb by limb until this sword glows a deep crimson. Do you understand? Far from town. Who are you? I'm sorry. It's just that I've been asleep for a while. I wish I had some food for you, but I'm all out right now. It's okay.
gave up my wings and magic for her. And now I'm all scrawny again. I won't let you leave like this. So what if she doesn't remember you? If you love her, get over there and win her back. Well, I took so many innocent lives. I don't deserve to feel the happiness That's of That's enough! You didn't deserve it before you saved her. You've always been a selfish villain. You lived your life as a killer-be-killed assassin. Where did this conscience come from? God, what happens next? Are you gonna go become a monk? Well, you can't because you're banned from holy magic. So if this is what you plan to do for the rest of your life, the least you can do is make one woman happy. Calm down, we just want to talk. <laughs> it won't hurt nothing. We're a little lost, you get me? We just want to rest here for a while. She can handle a couple of vagrant lowlives. I don't know. I couldn't sense much magical energy around her. Wait, what? She's what just woken up from near death, after all. Not today. You don't mind, do you? Huh? Step away from her right now. Who the heck are you? Stay out of it! You got a death wish? Whoa, he's strong for a guy missing a few limbs. No way! Practically falling over! I can't move! You're paralyzed until I say otherwise. It happens when I step on someone's shadow. Yeah, even like this. I'm still able to slit your throat while you watch. It won't happen again! I could, but I'm not a killer anymore. Thank you. Really? So all he gets is a thank you? Seems pretty ungrateful to me. Uh, hold on, do I smell fresh wheat from your house? You're baking something sweet, aren't you? Give us a taste. Then we can call it even. Hey! Right, Kisurugi? Yeah, I mean... Only if it's not too much trouble. <laughs> you two are quite peculiar. Please, come in. I'm happy to share. Oh, do you need a hand? I'm okay. If it weren't for us, I don't think Boss would have had the courage to go after her again. I was worried he might try to kiss her and throw it all out the window. <laughs> the ninja and the witch. With enough time, I'm sure they'll fall in love again. I'm afraid these items are prohibited for personal use. The royal magician <sighs> wants to examine them. <sighs> and after we managed to drag them all out here, too. In the end, we still weren't able to locate that vacuum. Is this vacuum worth all the trouble? Mm, well, maybe. Technology like that could change your civilization. But it doesn't matter. Not right now. Everyone. <laughs> Because of you, we're alive. Thank you all. I was merely concerned for my master's safety. Who might that be? Hey, Armored One. Better not let anyone beat you before I get the chance, understand? Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> keep your thanks, Handyman. We were happy to help out. Especially Kibra. He's in love with you. Oh, really, Eliza? Now is not the time. <laughs> we can't forget the Kingdom's hero and his party. Just doing my job. Is what I should probably say. But little Monboy here was worried about his friend Saito. Hey! No, I wasn't! Come on now! Well, I certainly didn't want to be here. The <laughs> Monboy wouldn't shut up! Uh -uh, right. She's lying! Until we meet again then. Thanks, guys. See you later. See you around. <laughs> uh, I guess that's it. We'll see them again whenever we explore the Great Labyrinth. Well. Who wants to head back to the inn and relax? Mm, I am super hungry! Oh yes, my back needs excessive rest. Hold on. There's something we need to talk about first. Uh-huh. Yeah, what's up? Is what you said true? Did that old man use time magic to summon you into our world? You're saying, without even realizing what you've done, your magic was able to open a portal to another world and summon an entire human being? That's right. There's someone lurking deep within my forgotten memories. Someone I desire to see more than anything in this world or any other, for that matter. Unfortunately, I can't remember anything about the person I wanted to see that day. 
however. That morning I tried to use the summoning magic and failed, and I certainly remember that. Leave him be! When I entered the room, Saito had just arrived. Are you saying that it was just a coincidence that you summoned me here in the first place? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that's all my old brain can remember for the time being. No, no, it's all right. Really, it was a happy accident. Thanks to you, I wasn't hit by a truck, or a large buggy. <gasps> Actually, I suppose one could say that you saved my life. Dear boy, you plagued me with tears. Uh, hey, if you brought him into this world, couldn't you, I don't know, maybe open the same door to the other world? If you did, we could send Saito back to his home. <laughs> Wait, what? Send me back home, seriously? <laughs> no! You can't do that! What about our adventures? Are you all right? Remember how much harder it was when Saito had a cold? Or had the ninja saw him as the heart of our party? You had to have noticed that our fortune started to change after he arrived. What were we even doing before that? And now you want to what? Send him back? No, I'm not all right. This isn't fair! <laughs> Tell me the truth. Do you want to go back home? We still don't even know if that's a possibility. And besides, it's not like there was something to go back for. No one needed me there anyway. That can't be true. You have a family? Well, technically I do. But I haven't seen them in a long time. I mean, I'd be lying if I said that I didn't miss them from time to time. To be honest, earlier, it made me happy when you were talking about how much of an asset that I was to the party. Maybe it's just vanity on my part. Who knows? But I still have to say it. I've never felt more needed than I do here in this world. <laughs> Tell me the truth, Ryleza. Do you need me? <laughs> the truth is, what I feel... What I feel for you is... <laughs> a bit, didn't it? The armored serpent is known for its venomous claws. You'll feel the effect soon. And we can't have you getting a scar. Let's try this magical medicine. Here, you're gonna want to drink this anti-venom too. Ryleza, I just want to be in whichever world has the person who needs me the most. I see you've been reading a good deal about monsters, too. Old man! The carapace of these armored serpents goes for a ton of money! So, you think you can tell me everything we talked about earlier? Do you remember? Don't do that. You look like a confused dog. I guess he forgot. If, in fact, you did summon Saito here, 
Are you able to send him back? Well, I wouldn't quite say that now. You forget how to do that, too? If I had that book of spells, I might be able to remember. But even if I could successfully send you back... If you could, then what? Before you came, you were going to be devoured by this truck, that most terrible buggy of legend which attempted to seal your fate, if I remember correctly. That's right. Why? No, it can't be true, can it? I'm afraid so. Even if the incantation was successful, Saito would be returned to the exact same place at the exact same time. Meaning if I go back to my world, I'm as good as dead? Poor guy. <laughs> well, hey, I wasn't planning to go back, so who cares? That means we can keep adventuring. Huh? <laughs> I guess the armored serpent was still alive. Could you pinch a bit harder? My shoulder feels quite itchy. I told you not to tilt your head like that. None of my magic is suitable for getting rid of envenomation. And I gave the rest of my anti-venom to Riles earlier. I am a hunter of the demon realm. As a pet of demonic aristocracy, I am the one who's set to kill. <laughs> Not even mighty dragons are safe from me. But this... This I've never seen. A majestic creature wandered here from the human realm. She was a most heavenly wolf. to be done, I went to her. For a time, we were happy. That is, until my master chose his next target. So, have you heard? 
The room is a most beautiful wolf, as white as snow. It will be ours. We shall stuff and display it. My mind was made up that day. I would do everything I could to help her escape. Pity, Master told me not to damage the smart girl's belt. We sometimes forget our own strength, do we not? Master also told me that I had permission to kill you. I wanted to fade into nothingness. I was done. This was no longer a life worth living. speed the spell came so easily wait that voice when you're good you're good it's the old man <laughs> oh he's alive thank god wait so this just happened to be another fire wielding undead how does that make you feel about this old magician now <laughs> wait are you even the right old man what happened to you not a clue I have a vague memory of losing consciousness while lying down. Yes, back at the end. <laughs> He's turning back into fleshy Morlock. But then, when I woke up, what's wrong? You really are the old man. That's gross. A resurrection contract? Yeah, it uses high-level magic to resurrect you a day after you die. And it can only happen the one time. Well, do you think Morlock may have had one of those contracts? I wouldn't know. I've forgotten. No surprise there. 
Why don't you make yourself useful and find us some food or something? We don't need to know how. I'm just happy Morlock's alive again. While I want to share in your merriment, I'm afraid something's going awry. <laughs> he died! I wouldn't say I died, exactly. Look, he's back again. I seem to be fluctuating between skeleton and fleshy human, and it happens over and over again. Oh, this is so creepy! But worst of all, uh, it appears my rooster has abandoned the farm. Rooster? Take a gander. Oh! It's gone! Oh, the dirty old geezer lost his dirty old thing! How does an old mage carry on like this? I can't visit the revered cyclic succubus! Since we're on this unfortunate subject, the innkeeper did mention that a wild dog may have eaten part of your body. Hey, I think Saito's onto something. Maybe the reason the magic isn't working is because part of Morlock's body is still missing. In that case, there's nothing we can do. Some poor dog already ate your rooster. Ah, why? No more cranking the wank worthy of challenging King Madaraka himself, my turkey pal! Wait, what Madaraka? Hold on, isn't that like 30 centimeters? No way! Saito, what's yours like? Even when it's perky, it's about half a Madaraka at best. <laughs> wow, that's pretty small, my boy. Half of that is only about half of her, you know. I hate this so much! Anyway, what's gone is gone. You're alive, and that's what matters most. I can't move on! My misbeating loose! Give me back my manhood! <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm glad Morlock's back. But I'm worried about leaving him like this. Yeah, you may have a point. He might change into a skeleton and never turn back. I've heard about enough of this nonsense. <laughs> oh, look. If it isn't Morlock's favorite stalker. My poor master. Don't worry, your true disciple Gibungle will help you find your rooster. Do you know any spells that Grandpa here doesn't? One magician's plenty. Compared to my master, I still have a long ways to go. But you see, I have one of these. Everything about magic is recorded on these hallowed pages. The Magipedia. If that book has everything, why didn't he use it in the labyrinth to help Morlock find time magic? According to the Magipedia, when a revival magic fails because part of the body has been dismembered, then all you have to do is find the missing part. Be easy. Yeah, but a dog ate his missing part. Even if the consumed flesh has been digested, it's very likely the magical energy remains within the host. Especially flesh from someone very powerful, like my master. So then what? You're saying that if we find the dog that ate Grandpa's rooster... Then we could try to extract the energy. And if we're lucky, fully revive my master. All right. We'll go on a grand adventure to find this mutt. Let us make haste, mysterious dwarf. I'm your apprentice! Keep on going! If this involves magic! Then wait for me! You're gonna need my help! They're in a hurry. Hey, Ryles, we should go, too. Uh, yeah. Half a Madaraka. Look, he forgot to take his Magipedia. I wonder, who do you think wrote it? An old dead mage, I bet. Written by Boyd Rank First Class Great Mage Bergheim Krom! You're kidding! The old man's forgotten he wrote the Magipedia? Half a year after she perished. My offspring and I were on the move, surviving in the human realm. Here I taught the pup how to hunt, so that one day it could survive on its own. I hadn't realized until then. My master used binding magic on me. I was still in their grasp, shackled by invisible chains. You think we're ever gonna find this dog? Do not underestimate my magic-detecting capabilities. Behold, I'm the dwarven magician, the uncle. My master and I have shared many a meal in a bed together. Detecting his magical energy sense should be quite simple. Perhaps you shouldn't tell stories that could be misconstrued. Well, I happen to be quite familiar with Grandpa's magical scent, too. What was that? You heard me. I'm hoping to find it rather quickly. No, and unfortunately, this old mage is unable to pick up all his own magical energy. Leave it to me, your favorite apprentice, and we shall find the wild dog at no time. Come on, that's not fair. I'll do it, too. Hmm? Find the magical! Energy is too strong. It's interfering with my search. Even half dead, it's too.
still quite powerful. I never imagined that he himself would be the obstacle. Hey, old man. Haven't seen you in a while. I thought you'd be in the Great Labyrinth a bit more. Hello, my dear elf. Ah, exercise it now! A dead parish where you stand! <gasps> no, stop! When he died, his corpse was eaten by a dog? And we can't use magic detection to find it. Maybe we'll just leave Grandpa with Rouse and Saito. I wonder if they're still at the end. Oh, you mean those two standing right there? Uh, stop flirting with each other! A wanted poster? Yeah. The innkeeper said it had a cross-shaped scar on its forehead, so we thought this might help. Wait, did you draw this, Saito? Wow, it's really lifelike. Back in my world, I would help clients look for their cats and dogs all the time. Since I can't use magic or anything, this is how I contribute. Oh, Saito. I'll take one. I'd love to help put them up for you. Oh. Wow, that one's terrible. No artistry in the slightest. Well, excuse me! I've heard of this. The dog? Yeah, I haven't seen it myself, but... You know those local job requests posted on the tavern wall? One of them said, there's a huge dog with a cross-shaped scar terrorizing the townsfolk, requesting that it be killed on sight. On the western outskirts of town. Then let's go! That's pretty close to where they buried Morlock. You're not taking the bounty? No, they're not offering enough money. And with the undead popping up in that area, it's not worth the risk. I don't blame you. Then it's up to us. Master, we need to move. Nina, once I've recovered quite a sizable amount of flesh, will you play with me? I will not. All right, let's go. Day by day, my body grew weaker and weaker. I didn't want to die yet. And until the pub could survive on its own, I wouldn't allow myself to do so. I sensed a potent magical energy. I was determined to live, no matter what. Something's wrong. There's the pulsating power swelling within me. My true self is awakening! Wild dog! I'm a hunter of the demon realm! <laughs> Since it's energy, the mongrel isn't too far from our location. You don't say. Starting to get cold feet? I know how much you love dogs, Rouza. We won't necessarily have to kill the beast. Someone of Master's caliber. He may have a method to retrieve the energy without any violence. Hmm, where is Master? Saito's gone too! Hey, Morlock. You doing okay? I don't feel better once I've had a moment's rest. Everyone else is so far ahead. Yes. And now that we're alone... I've been meaning to ask you. Tell me, my boy, what do you think of our warrior, Ryosa? Huh? Kind of a weird time to ask that. But, you know, I think she's a dependable party member. Oh, child, that's not what I'm asking. What do you think of her, from the male perspective? Huh? When I first met our dependable warrior, she was, oh, <laughs> couldn't have been more than ten years old. Alas, before the poor girl was old enough to remember her father's face, he died while attempting to strike down a wolf. The only person she had left was her mother, but she went out into the wintry mountains to scavenge for food and never returned. She may have gotten into a vicious struggle with the wolf's mate and perished. At least that's what Ryosa said. 
As she waited for the return of a mother that would never show, she survived, strong-willed and undaunted. And then they met. She found a wolf pup, white as the snow on the ground, a runt of skin and bones. Riles are connected with the whelp. She felt they were kindred spirits. According to her retelling of events, the two would go on to live together for many years more. But I didn't meet her until they had gone their separate ways. After fate brought us together, she lived alongside me as an adventurer. The girl is my family, you see. She's like a daughter to me. The truth is, as we march on, the magic within me is diminishing, and I felt my body's regeneration start to fade. What are you trying to say? Since the worst may well happen, I wanted to appeal to you, my boy. If it pleases you and you have it in your heart, dear Saito, would you be so kind as to take my daughter's hand? Who am I? I don't recognize the beast I've become. There's a monstrous power swirling within me, and it's driving me to madness. It's him. I knew his spirit was still with us. Has he come to reclaim his energy? Not today! If it pleases you and you have it in your heart, dear Saito, would you be so kind as to take my daughter's hand? Uh, Morlock, that's... I, I don't know. We need to know how Ryleza feels about this first. It's painfully obvious she's fond of you, my boy. Can you not tell? Martha and I recognized it a long time ago. I need you. More than I've ever needed anyone in my whole life. I have no memories of the family I lost along the way. So on that day, when I found her in the forest, I raised her with as much care as I could muster, as though she were my own blood. If I were to entrust my daughter to anyone on this earth, it would be you, my boy. That is, of course, only if you wanted the same, for I shouldn't thrust my will upon you. All right. As a handyman, I may not live up to your daughter's expectations. But I'll try. Okay, so... This is when I, um... I ask you... Mr. Morlock, can I have your daughter? <laughs> that was beautifully said, my dear boy. Please ask her in the same way. I'd be honored to, sir, but before I do, we need to find that dog. I need you to stick around. Okay, Pops? <laughs> You've revived my heart, dear boy. <laughs> The old man's still got his magic. Yeah, but Grandpa's half dead himself. I'll check it out. You two, find the dog. Mm -hmm. Despite what she may say, she's worried. They're not blood, but Morlock is like a father to her, and she's in love with the handyman. You speak the truth. Absolutely. If Master's magic is as weak as you say, you'd better go with her. We wouldn't want to take any chances. Leave the muck to me. I'm on it. like him making our lives more difficult. He's getting too old. Perhaps he should actually retire. No. If we hurry up and make our fortune in the Great Labyrinth, maybe we could retire together and just live. Yeah, right. What am I thinking?
Ancient Dwarfs of Life, I, Master Alchemist of Eon's Past, call on your altar of healing spirit, right? You hurt the wrong people today. People I'd do anything for. I see. These two legs are your allies, are they? I'll tear you apart, and then bludgeon the old man's magic out of your blood-soaked entrails! <laughs> You're dead! The heart is on! How does one actually kill a hellhound? The same as any magical beast. For starters, you want to avoid aiming for the mouth because it's dangerous. Their jaws are too powerful, so they'll snatch your weapon right up. And then, they'll aim for your vulnerable wrists next. And you might end up like this. But, I seriously doubt that Riles and Flanro would make the same mistake as me. Stupid thing! Wait, I might be able to make this count! Oh, also, another thing you'll want to be careful of. Fire breath? If that hits you at close range. Riles! Your armor and your flesh. Will melt right off. Hurt me all you want! <laughs> Would you hurt the people I love? <laughs> You'll pay the ultimate price! It worked! <laughs> so much! <laughs> A pet meat? No, it's a dog's pup. Why is he barking this way? Poor thing. You must remember the day I saved him. You've won the battle. Kill me while I'm still in my right mind. If I can make one last request, noble warrior, please spare my son's life. I beg you. How dare you? You try to take my family from me, and now this? Rylza, your arm! Rylza, Morlock hasn't moved this whole time, and his regeneration has stopped. If Grandpa isn't able to use his own magic, then he won't be able to reabsorb his lost energy. Listen close. Your pup will be spared. However, I will rip you limb from bloody limb to get his energy back. Only then can this contention be settled! What the heck is that thing? The energy, the grotesque appearance, it's a greater demon! It's fleeing! Ryleza! I can't tell you how I know this, but if it takes the dog, then we're screwed! I refuse to give up now! Not on Morlock's resurrection! But Saito... Saito's right, we can't let the demon escape with the dog! Oh, threads from magic dwarves of light, I, Master Alchemist of Eon's past, call on your altar of healing spirit right! Good. Now infuse my sword. A blade of steel, thou fleeting dwelling, entrap my magic for the felling. It's ready! Citizen of the demon realm, our coral is with the dog. Drop it and go! This hunter should have shriveled and died by now. My master placed a curse upon him for killing my brother. But he saved himself by devouring a heavy load of magical energy in your plane. My master has commanded me to bring this traitor back to the demon world to face punishment. Unfortunately, I must ensure that my little brother's murderer makes it back alive. You can imagine my frustration. I'll have to settle for taking vengeance on you. You are pay! Seven thunders in formation. Fiber swords, four are spears, three are my fangs, two are my arms. These words flow forth from my mind to become blades of lightning. I can't. Too quick. Thunder gods, may you explode! Recompense your life offered unto moonlight! Protect now! Send it like shields of gold! Turning gold coins into magic shields, are we? You can summon a fortune, but nobody as tiny as you could possibly block me. Now you owe me seven coins. 
demons aren't as powerful as I thought they'd be. No, you're just completely reckless! Hey, Saito. We need to take the dog with us for now. Yeah, we should do that. Huh? Uh, uh, wait, what is that? Scorching heat. Change your plans. Fill yourself with spirit and will. Master! It can't be! No, no, no! Oh, get your rotten paws off me! Why are there so damn many of you? Master! Saito, can you hear me? Ryles, I... Uh. I saw her. She used the magic shield. But it didn't work! Is she breathing? Yes! Is she out of magical energy? I see now! Since it's incredibly difficult for a demon king's class to rise to the surface, you used me as a gateway, didn't you? Our hunters consumed something remarkable. An energy so incredible we want to bring it to the demon realm. You use me! I'm just a vessel for your burning faggots! I've encountered, this is the highest level. The demon pillar in the labyrinth was extraordinary, but I had allies at my side. <sighs> Listen to me. Get Lafon Pond back to town. Wait, what? You hold me back! There's nothing you can do here, so just go! All right, then. Leave the old geezer and the dog. I'll bring him back with me. No, I can't just... Get out of here! You're only gonna slow me down! Be careful! You're not going anywhere! Hurry up! I'm sorry, Father. I won't be able to save you this time. You may be lost, but I will save Saito and Lafonpan. If it costs me my life. Oh, Saito, I've never once thought you actually slowed me down. In fact, I would be nothing without you by my side. Which is why you must survive! She's lovely. I'm starting to want her stuffed. You're rather obsessed with your taxidermy, aren't you? I'm rather obsessed with most things that are considered beautiful and strange. Hey, come on, let's go! It's dangerous here! Ow! friends behind either. Picking locks and fixing armor. That's all a handyman does. When my team really needs me, I'm completely useless. Morlock, why? They're too powerful. Oh no! Let go of me! Don't struggle, sweetheart. You'll make a lovely stuffed specimen. We'll have to make sure she isn't damaged as we train her blood. That's it. That's our good girl. Ah! Get back! Wait, you fool! Wow, you're turning into a star! Holy water! You won't be able to cut it! You've got to get out of here! Just run! Come on! Come on! That's a tool from Saito's world! Trying to cut the thread? With a human's blade, that simply isn't possible. That's dwarven craftsmanship for you. At the very foot of frozen stone peaks stand the eternal icicle flowers. Now, really? In the sacred garden where time is standing still, in the shape of a jagged tombstone. Ice bound. Chill! The more I see, the more I like her. Let's take her back just like this. My legs! Yeah. Sacred ice casket. It's tier six magic. 
I saw it in Morlock's tomes. It totally encases one victim in solid ice. Stay back! Now's your chance to escape. Ryoza, for me, you are... You are... No! I don't! We can move. We don't want you, boy. You pay the price for this. magical energy that was stolen from me. Beast, you must return it post haste. My daughter, my children, their lives are in danger. Oh, I see. You'll only give it back if I'm willing to look after your pup as well. I understand. I stand before you now because of the love I have for my own children. Look at her. She's all banged up. I don't care anymore. She's disgusting now, so I don't want her in our realm. Ryleza, my dearest darling daughter, the most brave and noble warrior of the world. You can die together. children. You must now earn your place and fight to the death. <gasps> and whoever survives this battle shall be crowned as my son. But, mother... <gasps> I'm sorry, brother. But I am the rightful heir and the one true son. I fear that in the end, we are both the children of demons. <laughs> Very 
good, my eldest son. Thank you, Mother. Our twins battle to determine which child is worthy of consumption to attain everlasting youth. Like many before, you're merely the victim of tradition and circumstance. Now be a good boy and fulfill your destiny to Mother. It would appear our entire lives have been a lie, haven't they?
sure, but it'll cost you. You don't really mean that, do you? You sure you want to save him? If you give him the energy back, I'm pretty sure that means you could die. But he gave it back to me for a specific purpose. A boon to help defeat the demon. Oh, I see. You'll only give it back if I'm willing to look after your pup as well. I understand. I stand before you now because of the love I have for my own children. In that moment, his desire to save his own child was so unyielding that he gave me the rest of his power, no matter the cost. If we can return what belonged to him, and maybe even lift the curse he's under, I think we should. We're both fathers, after all. <laughs> Morlock, no! Son of a... It hurts. I will not forgive. It really hurts. I will not forgive. a blast from tier 8 magic. Whoa, Morlock! What's wrong, old man? How are you still standing? Grandpa, are you not hurt? It should have flown right through you. Our energies have synchronized. A deadly harmony bellows within me. My power right to burst. By the gods, old man! Why do you look so strange? It feels as though I've gained the vigor of youth. Is that you? Yeah, are you really our Morlock? This has gotten completely out of hand. You're merely human, like the rest. And you can survive the fires of eight tier magic hot enough to incinerate a dragon. Unforgivable! Unforgivable? Is that all you've got to say? Filthy human! Never underestimate a demon! Come on now, don't sell yourself short. You're basically demon royalty. But your class is no match for my strength! What is that? It's a golem! I can't believe it! That's the golem he used with when his teleportation magic misfired! There's nothing for a child! Go away! We don't want your magical energies anymore! You'll rip it live from them! Look out! since I've called upon him, but because of our accidental fusion, I've been able to synchronize all our movements. Stop this nonsense! It's still standing. How is that possible? We didn't want to do this, but you leave us no choice. Behold, pathetic! You're doing what now? Maybe it's you who underestimates the people of this realm. Good luck trying to move. You're trapped in a barrier made from golem fragments. As a sign of appreciation for the way you've treated my family, I've been saving something special just for you. Oh, distant light to guide in the night through soundless seas of starry skies. Shower us with rapturous might. Split the earth with flames of light. Descend now! Incantation! You can't! You won't! If you cast it this close, you'll trade your allies down with us! Oh, is that why you summoned this barrier? Divide heaven and earth! Stardust gathers and becomes an iron hammer. Is that a meteor? <laughs> My barrier will block the shockwave from the heat blast and disperse the energy straight into the sky. No demon could survive the level of heat generated by this cataclysmic impact. Warlock, how? He's right. Yeah. This power, it's... Behind you! It's still alive! That's impressive resilience. Wait, is it regenerated? We just need one final push. All I need to do is finish the job with eight-pointed flame sword. Eight forms of the fires of war, flame sword! You okay? 
I can't remember the rest. Huh? It's magic. Oh, swords, maybe? Ronald, man! The two battle-hardened members of our party were caught off guard because they assumed he would be invincible once he transformed. But as a handyman, I was different. Because I'm weak, I don't make assumptions. I wait for the right opportunity, then give it my best shot! <laughs> Burn him fast! Don't let him regenerate! He'll make an old man proud. It's really nice having a dependable son around. Here we go! Scorching heat gather now! Cagey cage! Four of... A blaze! Right, cage ablaze! With spirit and will! Old prisoner of flames! Be free from your chains! <laughs> Saito, you were so brave to jump in like that. I did it to save you, Morlock. I thought you might turn undead again, or you'd forget your incantations. So I kept watch. And you know, I've been training here and there. Even a handyman like me can swing a sword around. But I mean, I can't hold a candle to the way Riles of fights. Whoa! Oh dear boy. Saito! Turn it. The demon dog could no longer absorb magians from the air, all because of a cruel curse from his master. Once the curse is broken and I give his energy back, he'll be able to live a peaceful life in our realm. How can you be so sure, though? When his energy permeated my being, I had flashes of the dog's memories. They revealed that my magic was greater than his master's. I can break the curse. Yeah, but if you give his power back, what's going to happen to you? I'm not sure, though it's only a portion I will have less. I might revert back to a skeleton, or worse, if things go awry. You first met for some dog? Some dog? Has your heart truly become so calloused? Every day, I'm lucky enough to go on adventures with you three. 
I understand the bond born of love between a parent and their children. Saito, remember, should the worst happen, our chat about my daughter, you know what to do, right? Hey, you can't be serious right now, Morlock. It's like you're giving up. Who do you think I am? It's only the worst case. You're talking to the Great Labyrinth's number one mage. You really think I can't save one little dog? Hungry wolf, my children have been able to stand on their own for quite some time now. But you, your boy still needs the guidance of his father. I'll give you my energy until your threads of life are spun firmly once more. And if my own life is spent in the process, then I shall carry on living with it. I swear to repay this debt of gratitude. If my strength is ever needed, call upon me and I'm there. Don't bother coming near the town anymore. We'll never meet again. into a deep sleep. It's been more than a day. Sorry. I'm always holding you back, huh? You were frozen by powerful magic. Saito! It's no wonder. Did she stay with me the whole time? Uh, wait, what about Morlock? Uh, uh, Saito, you see... So did you kids have a fun evening? That's not the kind of thing we ask our guests here. The geezer's magic is inexhaustible. He gave all of it to the dog, but the next morning he'd completely recovered. And since he's caused so much trouble for the innkeeper, he's helping out around the place. I don't know if helping is the right word. Hmm? We've got a room all ready for you, oh, right this fine, way. <laughs> Grandpa, I want my seven gold coins.
The top of the labyrinth? I've never been up here. And the fortress is packed with soldiers, so they'll be prepared when the monsters come out. You can see a lot from this far up. Even the crater the old man made. I'm glad he's fully recovered, after everything that happened. So you mentioned... wanting to talk? These clothes... I don't really remember changing into them. <laughs> I wasn't the one who did it! It was the old dwarf guy who showed up! Half a Madaraka. Half a Madaraka. I can give you a hand. That's a relief. Is that all you wanted? No, it's not. The dog. The dog? Yeah. A few times, it seemed like you were talking to it. Is that because of the years you spent living with a wolf? He told you about that, did he? Uh-huh. We survived three winters together. The wolf looked quite a bit like that pup. I wonder if it's disappeared somewhere, too. Maybe it was living with a wolf that did it. it. Made me cruder and rougher than other women. We're an odd party. Me, an addle-brained magician, and a miserly fairy. But it's where I belong. The only place I do. It's not just the three of you in the party. There's me. I need you too, Ryleza. in this world, or back in my own, much more. <sighs> Saito. Hey! Handyman! Gibungle? <clears throat> I've been looking for you. Master lost the keys to the inn, and now he's in trouble. You're the only one who knows how to pick the locks, right? Yeah, there are countermeasures against thieves set on them. He put on another guest's underpants by mistake and locked the door still wearing them! Hurry! Uh, right. returned. I regenerated it when I retrieved my power from the dog. But I couldn't control my magical energy at the time, and as a result, its restoration was what one might call intermittent. It repeatedly regenerated and disappeared, so it came to pass that I was roosterless when my youth returned. Saito, I've never noticed how handsome he is before. If I had been born with this body, I might have fallen in love with Saito. Morlock? Uh -huh. Look, I bought a jar of honey. I thought maybe you might like a taste. Saito, my love. What now? Just wrap the cord around your thumb like this, give it a pull, and the mechanism, uh, the lock, will release and pop the blade out. Huh, it's still a little stiff. It works, though, right? That's the important thing. It's not enough. We want a well-oiled machine. A nice, smooth release. So serious. Crap, it broke! Uh. Wait, no, it's all right. Uh. And done! Let's test it. Works well. What's this? A hairpin. It's made of silver. Uh, why is it stuck here? I thought it would be a fun surprise. Uh, Want to try it out? See how it works? Really? <laughs> so, look good? <laughs> it looks great! Well, it seems my work here is done. Just like Morlock! 
Forging feet gather now. Cage of blaze Oh no. Confronted with a beast wearing her father's face, Ryota can possibly find at her focus. because I turned that weird vase into a bathtub. Plus, you used your precious coins to protect all of us. It's an apology and a thank you. Well, if that's all it is. How's this? <laughs> Looks great. It wouldn't hurt to say that kind of thing to Riles, like you know. For your information, I do say those things to her. Something happen? 
It's been pretty crazy, actually. Hey, Ryleza, uh, I want my seven gold coins back. I thought we already settled this by increasing your share of the treasure, greedy little thing. <laughs> if you don't pay me, I'll take your lover boy as payment. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a good thing our species aren't compatible, huh? How did she get so big? You think it had something to do with this? That's our best bet so far. I'm not sure what else it could be. Orlok might know. If he wasn't partying. The keys are his debauchery on legs. Simple as that. You seem to be in a bind. Something about this feels a little too familiar. I, Debungle, shall help you in your time of need. According to the Magipedia, this face has the ability to temporarily enlarge entities like fairies and small monsters. This says it's imbued with a powerful magical energy. <gasps> Of course. The old man is a hoarder of oddities. Royals up. I see <laughs> have lost my clothes during a gentleman's card game. Oh, come on! Put that thing away! Grandpa, you're so gross! Master. You want me to grab some of my clothes for you? I'm not gross. There's no need to be so harsh. Hey, looky there. What if I were to just stow it away? See? <laughs> <laughs> Strap for cash. Goodness, what a mess. My only shoes. Mind if I take a look? Oh. Thank you, young man. You're quite talented. Oh, I didn't do much. I know those clothes. Your handyman, Saito. Oh, how'd you know that? You're quite famous around here. I heard you're the sort who can do just about anything. Really? Me? Oh. Did she say the handyman? Can you fix my bag? I've got a hole in my shoe. My windows are set slightly off kilter. Wait, I can't keep up. One at a time, please. <laughs> Those town folk really had you working clear into the night, didn't they? Lots of people asked me to do odd jobs. And thanks to their generosity, I was able to buy us this meal. We probably could have asked for a lot more than this. I don't know. When it comes to leatherworking and carpentry, I'm not exactly an expert. So I wouldn't feel right charging as much as a real artisan. Yeah, but you need to be properly compensated for your labor. I guess you're right. One day, when I'm more familiar with this world, I'll start my own business and become a handyman here, too. Great idea. You could even have your own shop in town, just like my dearest Mavenna. And uh, if you did, I'd be happy to help you. I may not be good with numbers, but you could put my muscles to use. Saito, we've been looking for you. Oh, hey. It's the lovely elf and my sweet Nina. My demi gauntlet broke. What's your fee? If it was up to me, I'd have loved to fix it for her. But I'm no good at that sort of thing. I'm here as well. Who is he again? Hey, Mr. Handyman. Will you patch up my clothes for me? This dragon scale can clean off. That's the magical beast hunter. Yeah, and Givra, too. Uh, hi. It's been a while. Master Saito. Can you teach me how to make those sandwiches you were eating down in the labyrinth? This guy, he will not stop talking about it. I'm tired. Can we go back to the inn already, please? Why is the kingdom's official heroes party here? Hey, Saito. Would you mind appraising the sword for me? Mavenna, how have you been? <laughs> Handyman, it would seem our king, or rather our kingdom's knight, has damaged the most important treasure. I thought a craftsman of your eminence could repair it. It was me. I accidentally dropped it. We kept telling you to wear it on your head. The actual king in his party? Hey, Saito, I have perfected the greatest of locks. If you think you can open it, try. Wow, even Don Bane showed up. You're gonna fix it or what? We've been looking everywhere for you. I'm here as well. Who are you? Would you wanna go exploring with me? Sandwich. Hi, come on, let's go already. Try it out. The crown is just a little bit chipped is all. You'll be handsomely compensated. Come on, boy, open it! I've learned so much of once. Hey, listen up! Can't you see the man's overwhelmed? Why don't you come back tomorrow? Why is Miss Rousa speaking for Saito? She's already acting like his wife! If it doesn't concern you, then stay out of it. Excuse me, I'm a member of this party, too! Wrap some twine around it! Just fix the damn thing yourself, got it? What did you say? You want a rematch right here, right now? There's no time like the present! Here! If you could! Step on up! One 
Hands off, Khan! Get your ticket here! Don't be shy. Why don't you start by buying me a drink? Hands off, old man. Hey, I'm here! Is he new? Everyone, settle down, please. Form a line, people! Get your ticket here! Someone's having no pushing! There's enough tickets for everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Finally, in this world, with these people, I found a place that actually feels like home.